Are you looking for one of the most powerful recruiting tools out there? Check out this video right now and I'll tell you mine. Okay, welcome to another super fun share screen here on the Millionaire Recruiter channel. Uh, I talk a lot about LinkedIn. I talk a lot about a couple different recruiting tools, and I'm sure you've heard me talk a lot about Crunchbase in different videos. And so I was like, you know what? I think Crunchbase needs their own video because this is one of those tabs that like LinkedIn, I am constantly in. And I was just blown away by a feature they just added in beta. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I think we need to talk about this. I think every single recruiter needs to have Crunchbase. Uh, especially if you are anywhere in the tech world, um, but just doing a sourcing map alone. Now, if you have not seen how to do a sourcing map, um, definitely check out that last video. Just put in there a sourcing map and search my videos and check it out because really this is how you start a search. I do not think that you can properly, as a good recruiter, start a search without sourcing out your current talent. So that's really what a sourcing map does. And I use Crunchbase the most for this. Um, so definitely check that out. But I'm on here and then I'm also referencing LinkedIn. I'm going back and forth. Um, also, another great factor of, of using Crunchbase when you're a recruiter is that you cannot possibly learn your sector fast enough without the capabilities of Crunchbase. And so here, I'm going to put it on here. And I know that you saw, I like to use Tinder in my um, in my examples. I used to use Facebook a lot, but I feel like everyone, I like to use a company that everyone can relate to, everyone might use, have used at one point in time. Um, but here's a great example. Let's just, whatever client it is, you're going to go ahead and put it here in Crunchbase. You're going to go down, scroll down. I mean, first of all, there's tons of data on here. <laughs> Let's just, you know, you can save it. So anytime anything comes up, um, you are in the know, you are alerted. Here's all the recent news and activities. It's laid out pretty nicely. Um, but let's just say you want to learn really what sector your current client is in or the current company you work in. And you're just going to hear right here. we got industries, dating, mobile, search engine, not a lot of people would have thought about, and social media. I think we all kind of knew dating, mobile, social media, but really Tinder is a beautifully well done search engine. So this is not only getting to learn your sector, you're getting to really get some cool news here and have inspiration to do your in-mails and email reach out. That's important because it has needs to have some co, you know, some, some big facts in it. But also you're getting a lot of sourcing inspiration from this. This is really such a huge thing here. So here, here's what I'm talking about. Let's just say search engine. Here we are. Clicked on that. This gives me tons of different companies. Look at Tinder's number three on their search engine here. Tons of different, essentially, companies I can grab people from for Tinder because they're going to have very relevant experience. Of course, you can do this by location, right? That's super easy here. Um, th this is, the, I, I love this. I love this so much. Um, so then, not only are you getting um, sourcing inspirations, right? So look at here, you can grab all their competitors. Here's your hit list. How awesome is that? Um, and then let's just say you want to go to company list. This is something that not a lot of people talk about. Um, so I want to, I want to add some filters here. You can do it one or a, a few different ways. Look at all this just basic information, investor information by um, headquarter location, founding date, actively hiring. Are you looking at this? Actively hiring. That's key. So if you are an agency recruiter, I mean a contingency recruiter, and you want to know who's actively hiring, bam, this is the this is what you're going to put in here. Okay, this is crucial. So let's just go back for a second. Let's regroup, and I'll show you how I did that. Because you can have it over here to the left side, which is what I prefer personally. Um, so you can put in keywords. So if um, again, if I want to put search engine, I can put that keyword in here. Remember, you got to do little bunnies. Um, headquarter location. You can just grab the United States if you want, or I can grab some, because I do tech, some key, you know, tech hubs. Um, industry, right? Look at all these cool industries you can grab. You can get really specific, or you can just put software. That's what you're in. Um, what kind of department do they have? Uh, how many employees? When were they founded? And then, boom, this is it. Actively hiring. Holy moly, there are literally 10,605 results just in actively hiring companies that Crunchbase has found for you. 
I have told you throughout different videos other ways that you can find actively hiring companies. Of course, that's through LinkedIn. I use that a lot. You can even use Indeed. But how cool is this? This literally just puts in a nice little bow for you. Um, I do like LinkedIn because it does then tell you what they're actively hiring for. Like, that's nice, right? But how cool is this? And then something not many people talk about. Is, first of all, yes, we have contacts. If you want to put like engineering in here. We can put some engineering contacts, but what I want to know, look at these signals. Okay. When was the last time a leadership hire? Why would we want to know that? Well, it's crucial because if they had a really big change in leadership, that can mean one of two things. Things aren't going very well, or maybe they're going so well and they're grabbing some key players. Um, layoffs, no layoffs reported. So let's just say in the last year, we can scroll down here. Last layoff mentioned. Ooh, look at Bayer. Bayer laid off in 2020, July 9th. Why? You know, so here's the different leaderships here. Do you see all this cool information? And you can, you can, by the way, um, you can sort it by like that too. If you want like the, the, the layoff stuff on here too, for sure. Um, financials, you want to know what, what round they're in. Um, we talk a lot about that in all of my different videos. We talk about, um, you know, seed funded, angel funded. Those are the ones that remember don't have too much money yet. They're just getting going. We have series A, series B, series C. It all goes up. There's again, another video for that. Um, but that's something you really need to understand and know in order to know exactly what time they're going to be in high growth. Like hyper growth mode means hyper recruiter mode. That's when they need you the most. You can go look, look on nitty gritty. You want to just focus on a certain investor. You can do that. Um, that's what's so fun here. Let's keep going down. We got company status. Let's move my little bubble up here. <laughs> um, all these things, uh, lists and tags. This is awesome. Um, so yeah, so you can find out exactly how they're laid off, what's going on. Um, and then my new favorite thing, and this is why I felt the need that I really wanted to put Crunchbase in front of all of you, is because they're Chrome beta extension. I don't know what... They want to do with this, but I am hoping that this is going to turn into an email sequencing tool. So I currently use Gem. I like Gem, like Gem a lot. Um, it goes on the side of really anything, but this is where I put it on the side of LinkedIn. But I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to go to Tinder's page on LinkedIn, show you the Chrome extension that that Crunchbase has, and you can see how powerful that would be. And I'm telling you, Crunchbase, if you're listening, I hope you're doing email sequencing because that would be a complete game changer. Um, also because uh, Crunchbase does connect to a CRM. So here we are. We are on Tinder. Ooh, let me move my little photo here. We're on Tinder right now. Here's my little CV, a little Crunchbase here on the side. So we have just the, very quickly, all of the company data the news about it. I can view all if I wanted to. It's going to take me back, right? But I want to stay on LinkedIn. That's the crucial part. This is the fun part. I want to go to people. Oh my goodness. I can search by engineering. Oh, I'm so happy. So let's just say I want to go straight to the VP of engineering. I normally won't with a company as big as Tinder, but let's just say I want to go straight to, to um, the VP of engineering here. All right. Let's see if I can view his contact. We have one email found, two numbers found. Let's just view it. Bam, viewed it. Okay, how cool is that? So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to have those nitty gritty things with the email sequencing tool because that, as we know, the more touches we make, the more powerful we can be, um, essentially, because the people are going to get back to us. That That's the whole thing. It's not that they don't want to get back. It's just that sometimes they don't have time to get back. Um, and let me click these buttons here just so you can see, but I definitely suggest you playing around with this yourself. Um, they do have a free version of this. It's not nearly as much information as I think you're going to want as you're evolving in your recruiter career, but um, their pro for the year isn't that expensive. So if your company does not have this, this is really, again, if you're internal, the sourcing inspiration is unbelievable. External, of course, that means the same thing. But if you are an external recruiter and you do not have Crunchbase, you are really missing out. You absolutely have to grab this because I'm telling you, it will, you will, your ROI on it will, you'll see it like immediately. Um, this is, you know, as we saw with LinkedIn Recruiter, it's a heftier purchase, uh, a lot heftier of a purchase. The ROI on it, again, is super huge. Uh, but since this is a minimal 
purchase in comparison, especially um, the ROI just it goes over and over again. And I'm telling you, um, especially teaching as I'm doing the, the university, as I'm doing Thriveversity right now, which as you know, is taking over the Millionaire Recruiter course. This is through a real learning management system where you'll be able to get an accredited certification. Yes, the first <laughs> the first recruiting accredited certification. I'm really excited about that. Um, you will be using this a lot throughout the course. Um, so this is how exactly how I teach new recruiters. This is how it's kind of like a boot camp. This is how you're going to learn really quickly why equity is important, why you need to know VCs, why you need to know famous founders, uh, and why we need to find the common denominators and how we can really immerse ourselves into the tech sector alone, but into any sector that you're currently recruiting for is insanely powerful. Um, so definitely check this out, play around with it. Um, this is actually even a tool that I give newbie recruiters and say, hey, when you have downtime in between your studies, like through Thriversity, I want you on Crunchbase. I want you to explore. And actually, one of the things that we did today is we're starting to do um, some, some reports on famous founders. And of course, they're using Crunchbase for their main motivation here, their main information um, page. And then they're going on all different tangents. And that's the thing. You want things like LinkedIn and Crunchbase, for example, that gets you on tangents that you can find really good nuggets of information and good sourcing inspirations, whether it's candidates or clients or even just different industries. Um, and you want that inspiration, you want to find those people and those companies that other recruiters are not finding. So that's why you got to have this tool for sure. Um, it's one of my favorites. So I'm actually going to start do, doing um, some other videos on other, uh, other of my uh, favorite recruiting tools. So definitely check those out. Um, every Thursday at noon is when I'm posting my videos. And uh, if you do want to have more news on Thriversity and those uh, certifications and certificate on the self-driven versus the instructor-driven course, definitely check out below this link, uh, sign up for our newsletter and we will keep you posted and we'll also let you know when a new video is out. So hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. You can tell I get really excited and I could probably keep talking, <laughs> but I want you to play with this. That's the whole point. Um, I am not the recruiting Bible, although I would like to think I hopefully can be one day, um, but I am not that. You need to have your own tools. You need to get your own vibes. There's all sorts of cool, cool things that you can do here. So have fun. And don't also don't forget this Crunchbase does have Crunchbase Daily where you can get really good emails. Um, I have a couple of those resources, those emails that I like, but Crunchbase is definitely one of them. Sign up for that at the very least. Um, and do not forget that money is just a vessel to get you to do all the amazing things you want to go do in life. So go live it. See you next week.